taken from the book stories and tales of the Ianer. The Pact of Magicians When Lindal reached Librian the night had fallen cold and deep. He entered the same hidden mountain path to the Brotherhood House, a meeting and study center created by the few magicians in South Thurianer, from Hyperion to Ilvenar in the east. Lindal got off the steed right at the door of the house, it opened slowly, a young woman with long orange hair came out to meet her. Quick Lindal, everyone is waiting for the news. I know Errol he crossed the threshold uncovering his head. He could immediately see a handful of magicians in the room, there were no more than thirty. Lindahl sat in one of the two chairs that were left unoccupied in the living room. The oldest of the magicians spoke up. You took longer than expected. Things got a bit complicated, thanks to the gods the problems in Kirill have been overcome, but I don't see a very promising future for all this. Errol sat down next to Lindahl come on Lindahl tell us everything. The young wizard cleared his throat and began by pulling out a scroll from inside his robe, opening it solemnly. Today, in Kirill, the main city of all the magicians of the Ianer, unfortunately we have left too great a mark in the history of magic, a wound, a wound too great to be erased one day the rest of those present were shocked before the start of the message. As the three great magi, democratically elected leaders from among all magicians, and at the same time in conjunction with a select group of strong magicians from all over the Ianer, chosen by their own groupings or schools, we have made the following determination so that he does not return what we all know will happen, with the catastrophic consequences that the unfortunate events have brought about for us as magicians, and for Kirill as a city created by magicians, for magicians. Unfortunately, the events that have occurred have led us to leave the command of our own city and create a people's council as everyone knows, that happened as everyone is aware, before all the misfortune occurred, but it was not enough and today we must regret it with profit. Through this letter we ask you on behalf of the three great magi and of all those who have awakened the arcana throughout the Ianer, as well as those who have not yet done so, to respect and comply from today until the end. Of the times, the rules for the use of magic that we have determined in this fateful hour. First, from this day and forever we decide jointly and we hope that you will accept this determination. It will be absolutely and strictly forbidden to perform any magic within any town or city of the Ianer, except in those places publicly recognized as schools of magic or study centers accepted by the authorities of each city. Therefore it is forbidden to have hidden centers of magic within any city of the Ianer Lindal was interrupted by one of the magicians. I hope this is some kind of mistake, said the wizard with a furrowed brow. I'm sorry, Balahir, but I'm reading directly from the parchment the determinations we made at the meeting. Balahir settled back in his seat, clearly this was bothering him more than he let on. This practically forces those who want to do serious research to join the schools or be a renegade, it's like asking the kings for authorization to be able to use our magic. As long as you want to do it within a city, that's how it will be, so technically schools like this are not prohibited, we think of a way to give security to the commons, it is necessary. You say necessary? It is necessary to unite the magicians, not to make us divide or cut our necks because of this restriction. I agree with you, Balahir, added Lindahl, trying to continue and calm the spirits of those present a bit, but it is also true that for people, since the War of the Aeons nothing has been the same again, for them we are a threat and although we are very few, everyone present knows well that we could destroy a city without much effort, they are right to fear us. They seem to forget what our ancestors did for them, Balahir added. Errol intervened in order to continue with the message we know, Balahir, the Minus and the Serpents are like parents to us, but we must leave that as it is, history, this time has its own problems, please continue Lindahl. Thank you, spreading the scroll again, Lindahl continued. A second point and perhaps as important or more than the first and that probably worries you, 
is that to ensure compliance with the first point, the commons have been granted the power to apprehend and execute any magician who fails to comply with the first point resistance to being imprisoned will be punished with death said this, silence spread through the room as if someone had died. The oldest of the magicians, Bermian Damarian raised his voice in that strange and thick silence, I did not expect that the events that occurred in Kirill were so serious as to force the three greats to make a determination like this, I hope you understand Lindahl that this could be unleashing a war between the magicians and the commons, before Bermian's words the rest of the magicians could not help but nod, their disagreement with the decisions made in Kirill was evident. Lindahl looked up. Her face was serious believe me my brothers that what happened in Kirill should not happen again, that was a catastrophe and a great loss for all the magicians of the Eanor, an irreparable damage she took a breath for a few seconds, if he could have told what happened but, he had promised, he had to take the facts to the grave, it was a pact of blood and magic that all those present in the council of Kirill had assumed, let me continue to the third and last point please. Finally and making one last use of our faculties, we have determined that from today on, from the official schools of magic, no matter how small, that exist in the inner, a grand master in each one, who will decide which element of the arcana to be they will girdle and specialize, seeking to group as many magicians with a certain inclination or arcane sensitivity in a specific place. We know that this will give a powerful boost to our knowledge and will help us magicians in the future not to be scattered throughout the inner, but to be cohesive centers. The position of Grand Master or Archmage will not be hereditary, but the Archmage himself will designate who should continue his work of teaching and deepening the knowledge of the Arcana. Once he feels unable to continue his work due to his old age or some other evil that occurs and prevents him from continuing his work normally, he will designate his successor. From now on we recommend the establishment of the School of White Magicians in Aragmador, in Kirill we decided to concentrate that of Rayo, in the north, in Drugil there will be that of ice and in Ulma that of water, for the moment that is what we recommend and we hope the remaining schools know how to make wise decisions. Dear Magi Brothers, the Inner has changed and the commons have understood that we are not like them, that we are a threat and therefore these decisions aim at the safety of the magicians and the commons, but above all that the magicians become fronts of well-defined power that will help ours to survive, a brotherly hug from Kirill, the big three when Lindahl finished his voice seemed to break. I think you have a lot to tell about what happened in Kirill, Errol added. Errol is right Lindahl, the last thing they agreed upon seems fine to me, but was the first really necessary? Bermian said. I'm very sorry brothers, but we all swear not to tell anyone about the events that happened in Kirill, I can only tell you that the loss is so great that rumors will soon spread here, but it will not be through my mouth that you will know it, before that, I urge you to make a determination regarding this, in Aragmador the school of white magicians has already begun to form and probably the school of fire will gather there as well. The rest of the magicians remained silent, they seemed to be meditating whether or not to accept the will of the three great magi, they knew well that this would force several of them to join a school or remain in exile due to some of their fierce investigations. With the morality of the commons and that probably no school would welcome with open arms. I think the best thing is for us to vote, Balahir intervened otherwise we will spend the whole night here and we already know that these things only serve to divide us, a quick and final decision was what we wanted and the big three gave it, now we must decide whether to join something that has already started or to retire, or to live with the common people as they want, it is our decision depending on what we want for magicians in the future, I for my part and as you know, I have started with some investigations that would force me to stay out of this agreement and for this reason I will withdraw once this meeting is over if the decision is adverse to me, but know that you can always count on me. After what Balahir said, five other magicians decided to follow him if the decision was adverse to them, the vast majority understood that if they wanted to live in peace or with some peace, they should follow the course of what was ruled in Kirill. 
I think it is already clear what we will do and as the oldest magician of this kind of school I propose Lindahl as Archmage to make our school great, we cannot allow the Centrals to take the lead, the fire school and white magic in the same city is almost a mockery for all of us and I think that Lindahl as one of the youngest and strongest will have the wisdom and strength to give this small school the direction it should take towards the future at the words of Burmy and the rest, without a doubt. Nodded and after a few minutes in which they were finally able to free themselves from the weight of everything that happened at last Lindahl spoke, but as Archmage of Librian. Tonight my brothers, Errol, Balahir, Master Bermian and everyone present, I assume with total devotion the position that you have given me as the first Archmage of Librian those present applauded in unison I must admit that since I left Kirill one thing it ran through my head, if we should do something as a refuge for those magicians who, like Balahir, were not going to be able to reach any school, thereby greatly hindering the possibilities of continuing with their arcane studies and research. Many will be those who inevitably go into exile and for the same reason I have decided that, the school of Librian, the hidden school of Librian will become the school of black magic of the Eonor, it will be the hidden school and it will not be inside the city in order to comply with the mandate of the big three, we will respect the precepts, as it corresponds to the magicians to follow the guide of the three, but by not being in the city we will be able to receive the exiles and not deal with the common people on moral issues that they would disapprove. Out of ignorance and fear. I am sure that many magicians will take the path of exile and many of them very powerful, for the same reason I consider that it is the best path, we will continue to be the hidden school as we have been until now and thus we will maintain our position all present applauded instantly. The courage of their new leader and shouted long live the Archmage of Librian, long live Lindal the Archmage of Darkness. Thus was born the hidden school of Librian that would be, for better or for worse, one of the participants of the Oblivion that would mark the beginning of the end of the magicians. Si nuestro trabajo te ha gustado, no olvides darle like y suscribirte para recibir notificaciones de nuestras próximas historias. Si quieres apoyar nuestro proyecto editorial, puedes seguirnos en Patreon o apoyar en forma directa mediante Flow en los links de la descripción.